Welcome back to P1. Today we're looking at points of intersection. This will involve quite a lot of sketching. It shouldn't be a very long video and it shouldn't be too difficult. Just a quick message before we get started. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. If you haven't subscribed to me yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you're a new viewer, again, welcome. Hopefully you'll find these videos useful. Let's get started. Okay, so let's have a look at these two graphs. So I'm going to start off, I'm going to draw this y equals 1 over x graph. Nice and easy sketch. And remember from the previous videos, just having it head towards those axes. And there we have it. So there's my y equals 1 over x. Next, let's have a look at this y equals x, x minus 4. And you can see it's an x squared type of graph, and it's going to cross when x is 0 and x is 4. So just thinking about somewhere like that. And then it's an x squared graph. Okay, and there I am done. Now I can clearly see from a graph I'm going to have one point of intersection. So I've done part A, part B now I'm looking at just simply stating there is one point of intersection, therefore one solution to this equation. And my reason would be that there's clearly only one point of intersection on the graph. And here it is just written down for you. Now, it doesn't ask me in this particular question to find the coordinates, but if I essentially solve this equation, then it would give me this coordinate here, which should be a little bit more than four, because this is x equals four. However, this particular one, the reason it doesn't ask you is because it is quite challenging and it's uh, far above what you'd be expected to do in A-level maths. Okay, so in this one, you can see in both of my graphs here, we've got an unknown value A in this first one and a B in the second one. Now, both of these are positive constants and that's quite important it enables us to give a sketch of these diagrams so i'm going to start with the y equals b over x so we know it's positive so just like a 1 over x a 2 over x a 3 over x whatever that value is we can sketch it it'll still look the same and since we have no other values on our axes then there's nothing to say that we are wrong with this. And there we have it. Now the other graph is an x cubed graph. And if you think carefully about what's happening here, if I make y equals zero, so where it hits the x axis, I would end up with this equation. So this means that x squared is equal to zero or x minus a equals zero. So x equals a, and x is equals 0. And remember, I like to put in that word twice there, just to remind me. So it's going to bounce off the axes at 0. So 0, 0, and it's going to cross the x-axis at a. And remember that a is a positive constant. So I can just mark that somewhere on this side as a positive value of x. And then it's about sketching it. So it's a positive x cubed graph. So I know I'm coming from the bottom. And then I know I'm going to eventually head up through the top. So I like to get started that way. And then start filling in. So I know it's going to hit 0, 0 and bounce off. And then I know it's going to go through A and head up. 
okay and because it's an x cubed graph as I go up here it gets steeper and steeper it doesn't really matter in this case but against like an x squared graph it makes sense to understand that it is going to be steeper and I can clearly see that there are two points of intersection now one thing I do have to be careful of and just to double check is that this equation is the equation I get when both of my graphs are equal I should double check that it usually is but it is worth just double checking it And as you can see here, it is. So all that's left is to finish it with a sentence or two, something like, and there we have it. It's quite useful and important really to also mention the word real solutions, because we've got two points of intersection. So there are two real solutions. However, there may be more solutions if we considered complex numbers. I'll give you a few to try yourself and as always I will go through the answers or put the answers up at the end of the video. One thing to note here, the x cubed graph is going to be steeper than an x squared graph, so these two won't meet some point further up in the y axis or the y direction. For two points of intersection, then the discriminant must be greater than zero. If you enjoyed this video, like it subscribe to my channel if you want to say anything just pop it in the comments uh, things you want to see things you want to discuss particular questions 
please just pop it all in the comments and I will read them and get back to you. Until next time.